I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric. Tonight we are going to be playing with this. This is the new Raddy shortwave receiver and check this thing out I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because I want to show you the size of this thing uh, yeah so this is a ultra and I mean ultra compact and you first you look at it and you go oh this is just one of those um, you know low-end like starter shortwave radios little pocket shortwaves that I've talked about in other videos but take a closer look AM and upper side band and lower side band FM, FM stereo, and of course the shortwave bands. So this is an all band, all mode radio, and it fits in the palm of my hand. And I am super, super excited to try this thing out. I have wanted this really bad um, for trips. I wanted to be able to drive, use this thing on trips because I have another one. It's an old one I bought at Radio Shack that was a uh, uh, kind of a compact unit, but it had sideband, and unfortunately, it's it's finally just bit the dust. So here we are with its replacement, and super excited, man. So first of all, up on on top, an external antenna plug right there. So that's really cool. You can plug in a a wire uh, antenna to it right there. Uh, earphones, which is cool, and um, then we got a power button up here. Band select, mode select, memo. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to read the manual. Step. Lock, set, volume up, volume down, tune up and down, a speaker on board, right? Down here, a removable battery cover. And it's a rechargeable battery, so that's really cool. It's a USB rechargeable battery. And then, I don't know, that looks like, okay, so we have another tuning. So if you don't want to use buttons, you got a tuner here as well. Awesome. Well, I am going to go ahead and lay that down, and let's take a look at this what it is it come with. We do have a USB cable. That's really nice of them to do that. We do have nice earphones with extra earbuds, which is good. Funny thing about earbuds out in the garage here, uh, which I use them when I'm editing sometimes, the mice, they like the flavor of those earbud things. Not the buds, but the little things. So they tend to chew them up. So it's good that it comes with a spare set. Oh, sweet. It comes with a long wire antenna. So we will definitely use that. But of course you could hook up anything. You could hook up one of those MLA 30 pluses, but this is something you could take, you know, to a hotel or to a campground. It wouldn't take up much room at all. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, but it would give you awesome reception on shortwave. This is very cool. I was hoping it would come with this. It's a wristband so that while we're using it, we don't drop it. And I see the hole right there. So I'll go ahead and install that here in a second. Here is our battery, rechargeable battery. Yeah, I'm super excited to be playing with this. I've been waiting for this. The uh, first batch sold out real quick, so I had to wait for the second batch to come around. And there it is. Let's see what the specs are on that. 3.7 volts, 1,000 milliamps. Cool. And then it looks like it comes with a little baggie to keep it in. And I'm, you might think, well, I don't know if going to use that. I actually am going to use that because, uh, like I said, I use the other one for traveling, camping, and going on trips and stuff. And so... It finally got beat up a little bit too much, but hey, maybe this will help protect this one. And then what we have at the bottom is a very, very large, it's the Ratty RF760 FM, midwave, shortwave, sideband, lower sideband, air, CB, VHF, UHF, UBD, not sure what that is, weather channel, ham, wide frequency scanner. Man, that thing's just got it all. This is just something else. So, uh, yeah, a lot of reading to do there, but I'll definitely be going through that. Also, uh, it's in, in multiple languages. So, um, looks like in English, 27 pages of info on how to operate it. So, definitely something worth reading there. Okay, well, let me pause the camera. I'm going to get it all uh, assembled and installed, peel all the stickers off of it and such. And we will uh, we'll play with it. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll go through the bands and see what we can find. Okay, so here we have it all set up. And to give you an idea of size, here is a coffee mug. And speaking of traveling, uh, I was in Gettysburg uh, this uh, couple months back here, and 
That is an awesome place, Gettysburg is, but Ernie's Texas Lunch. Man, they got some great hot dogs there. Well, anyway, that, that was, I, I like those hot dogs so much I bought a mug. But let's get on to the radio, which is why y'all are here. All right, here it is. Check it out. There is a lot going on here. You try to jam all this into such a small radio, that's likely to happen. I didn't realize it was going to be backlit. That makes life so much easier because now I can actually see what I'm doing, uh, you know, at night. And we can go through the band slowly or we can go through the bands quickly. Move up. Wow, it's a good long antenna. But I'll just roll through. So we have air band here. And we can change the step on that if you want to. All right, if I change it again, it's changing. If I hit it again, down to single steps. And then if I go real big, so that's really easy to, to, uh, to maneuver, which I like that. VHF mode, so you can actually use this for uh, scanning. Yeah, there's scanner bands, right? Or business band. Right, and then we can go lower side band, weather channels, and then we go to FM. If you press and hold, it goes to scan. So, pretty decent little audio coming out of this thing. About what you would expect out of a pocket radio, but the fact that it's got so much built into this pocket radio is what just interests me. So, all right, so there's FM. We don't want to violate any copyright stuff there. Here we are in mid-wave, and let's go up through that. And we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and tune, because, I don't know, I, not AM is not strong here, although the sun has gone down, so we might pick up some of the clear channels. I'm not too hopeful we'll pick up a station. So I'm fairly impressed with that, to be honest with you. Like I said, AM, uh, even at night here, is spotty like if it gets real late you get a lot of clear channels in but right here at dusk not a very reliable band and this is just with the uh, stock antenna which is maybe a foot and a half long looks like maybe 18 to 20 inches yeah I'm picking up a couple stations here Okay, so, yeah, definitely picking up a couple of stations. I always have to be a little bit careful about um, copyright issues so I don't stay on any music station for very long, unfortunately. But very cool, very cool. And so if you're understanding how this operates, I'm changing the step around. And right now I'll have to read the manual. It's on European because it's going in increments of, uh, you can see the offset is different. Ours is by the tens. And theirs is not. But So you can change step and that changes it, right? And then your side also operates off of, off of step. You can go up or down with it as well, and you can change the step with that as well. So that's pretty cool. Band select is pretty self-explanatory. And I'll tell you what, I'll just go through a scan here and see if any CB activity or any kind of ham activity is up on these upper bands here, but With our little two-foot antenna, we're picking up CB traffic.
<laughs> so CB band picking up picking up skip on the CB band that is pretty darn cool let's continue our scan here and see if we get any 10 meter it's telling us our band in this case we're in the shortwave bands but it also had AM or midwave and FM mode which is kind of cool I'm not sure what the 300 there is it looks like an antenna it might be uh, I don't know there is an attenuator and then we do have, oh, that's that's your uh, step. That's what that is. I'm having a hard time reading that. I don't have my glasses on tonight. Well, you can set an alarm with this thing, which is kind of interesting too. So you can wake up to this and use it as an alarm clock if you'd like to. Battery indicator over there. And you can see the little sleeping man that turns the alarm on and off. So really cool, man. This thing is pretty awesome. The RF760. And uh, it's relatively new. It just came out. They had one batch go out. And uh, I was lucky enough to catch... It when it was back in stock, and I'm, I'm really happy to have it. Then, of course, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes here as we get into the shortwave areas uh, where they're more frequented this time of day, or I get better reception here in the lower part of the shortwave bands. But there's so many things that it can do, and I'm just, I'm just impressed. The only thing that I see here that I might have liked that is missing, but you can't jam it into something this small, would be a keypad. The uh, Radio Shack radio that I've been using all these years uh, on my trips has a key. And so I will sometimes punch in channels that I, I already know. But what this does have is memo mode. You're going to be able to lock in stations. So you can choose, uh, you know, stations, presets, just like you have on your car stereo in your car. So you have your presets. So I just will take the time on a rainy day to go ahead and enter in all the presets that I know I like. And those usually, in the shortwave bands, those are going to be listenable just about anywhere you travel. Yeah, and there we go on the really high end here. I'm not familiar with this station. 17855. Cool, we'll keep going. Yeah, that's a station I'm not familiar with. It's coming in pretty clear considering, now think about this. I'm in inside of a building with a metal roof and I'm using the stock antenna. I don't have a long wire hooked up to this, so I'm severely limiting my reception ability. But that's that's what's impressive about what I got on AM. I expected very little and got a whole lot more than I expected. FM is pretty strong in this area, even though it's in the mountains. It seems to propagate very well. But shortwave here, usually a long wire to get some of those fainter stations. So we'll probably only pick up the big ones tonight. But that's okay. It's just about showing you what it can do. I guess I'm also going to point out that by going on scan here, it's only stopping when something breaks the you know, the barrier of its built-in squelch, whatever that programming is. Uh, and so if you had a frequency you knew uh, that had programming on it, you could manually push up and down to that point until you got to it. Because I imagine a lot of these stations in shortwave, you know, a lot of the stuff I listen to is pretty faint. It comes and it goes. And so it may very well be that the scan mode is just not capable of stopping at some of those because it, it's not high enough above the noise floor for it to react. The 11 uh, megahertz band is, is pretty busy this time of night. Ben, I'll tell you what I do when it stops on the next station. We'll go ahead and hook up the long wire and I'll just string it across the desk here. See how much that improves performance. Yeah. That should be WTWW. All right, let's hook up the long wire antenna. I'm on, on uh, doing the wire for it right now. And we'll string it up and see, see what that does for us. So definitely brought the... Uh, Brought the noise floor down and the volume up. That 
That is so strong, it's, it's overloading the radio. And so that's another weirdness of shortwave, is you could have too strong a signal. And in this case, we don't even need to have the antenna up to receive it. You put that in, you can hear the uh, picking up the... That's, that hum you're hearing is the uh, LED lights and the fluorescent lights I have here. Seventy-four ninety in Maine, coming up with just the just the regular antenna. In fact, it's about strong enough. Yeah, that's a powerhouse of a signal to be heard that well down here in North Carolina. Well, let me go ahead and turn this down. I think I think I've given you an idea of what it's capable of doing as far as uh, the sound and stuff goes. So the other things this can do, like I said, it's it's you know it's ultra compact, but you could use it as a police scanner or program in as far as your uh, memo, your you know your spots on it. You could program in channels in your area and listen to fire and police, which would be really cool. It's airband, so you can listen to over uh, air traffic. It's obviously CB. We heard channel six or channel eleven. I, I think it was six was roaring, <laughs> and just with that little two foot antenna, it's just incredible. And of course, shortwave bands, crazy AM and FM, good good quality uh, output on that. Now that that speaker is that going to be like something you want to listen to at a party? No, it's not. It, this isn't a speaker that's going to just be booming with beautiful bass and full range. It's not meant to be. This is a pocket radio, but this is like the most capable pocket radio of all time. I'm sure the quality through these earbuds is is going to be a little bit better. But again, we're most people are going to buy this. They're not looking for the fidelity of a beautiful FM stereo system. They're looking at something that's going to be able to pick up stations like WBCQ or WTWW or WRMI or any of the other U.S. stations or some of the overseas stations that come in uh, many nights, especially in the winter. So there you go. It's the Ratty RF760. It is... Well worth it, I feel. I mean, you know, obviously we'll see how, how it feels like in 10 years. You know, the other Radio Shack radio, I think it lasted uh, 10 or 11 years. So definitely put some miles on that one. But uh, I don't see any reason why with proper care this one can't go the distance. It's just it's just built well, it looks like it anyway. So, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. It has a uh, belt clip. Might be hard to see that, but yeah, there's a belt clip right there. Anyway, I'll leave a link on where you can get this thing um, if they're not sold out again. Like I said, if you if you find one in stock, you probably want to get it because these things are selling pretty quick just because they're so feature-packed. It's, it's a pretty rare bird to see a pocket radio with all the bands. I mean, all the bands. This is a general coverage receiver. So, really cool. Anyway, that'll do it for today, my friends. I'm Eric. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you might please think about liking and subscribing. And I will see you next time. Take care.